All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, Pook, with a brand new Life After Navy episode. And in today's episode, we're gonna be doing a long overdue response video to my boy, JT Suits. What up, fam? What up, fam? So I can do it too. <laughs> and uh, he made a video about three months ago at the time of this recording asking if he would join the military again. And I thought I'd kind of give my own thoughts on the matter. And uh, I'm going to answer this question uh, in two different ways. Uh, one is going to be if I knew in 2010 what I know now in 2016, would I have still joined the Navy and done my thing? And the second part is going to be um, if given the opportunity and I lose a little bit of weight, would I rejoin the Navy if given the chance? So let's obviously start off with part one. <laughs> uh, if I knew in 2010 what I know now in 2016 about the Navy, would I have joined? And the answer is yes. I mean, pretty obvious. Uh, in 2010, I wasn't really going anywhere in my life. Uh, when I got kicked out of college in 2007, it was a dark period for me, basically. Um, I was hopping from job to job. And that was also during the time of the big American recession as well. So, you know, it was really hard to find work in any capacity. I mean, even even fast food and uh, retail jobs were uh, starting to uh, thin out during that time. So it was hard for me to hold a job because they would either only give me a couple hours a week or they just let me go because, you know, they needed to cut some staff. And I just recently got hired there. So they're like, well, we can't give these guys who've been around for years and years, you know, the boot. You know, we'll just give this new guy the, the cut and then we'll save everybody else. So it just kind of was what it was. And uh, I was just kind of down to, uh, you know, my last option pretty much, which was join the military or become homeless. <laughs> Didn't want to become homeless. So I figured, you know what, at least with the military, I could, you know, do my time, get uh, the opportunity to go back to college, which is what I'm doing right now, and uh, just move on with my life. So I figured, you know, whatever. A little hard work, four to six years, you know, can't be that bad. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad to say I did it because I made some amazing videos, had a lot of personal growth, a lot of great personal growth during my five years in the Navy. You know, I became just an overall better person. And I sure as hell wouldn't be able to afford this place or the equipment that I'm recording on right now if it wasn't for those Navy paychecks. No. Sure as hell can't make that kind of uh, that kind of cash flipping burgers, you know? So, yeah, it just kind of led me to this point in my life right now where going to college on the GI Bill, getting my learn on, gonna get my degree, and hopefully head back to Japan as soon as, uh, as, soon as I can. I mean, helped. <laughs> just the experience in Japan alone, I think, was, you know, worth my time in the Navy. I mean, granted, there was a lot of bad things that I didn't like about being stationed in Japan. Not necessarily about Japan itself, because, like, I really love Japan, you know? I got to meet a lot of great people out there who I was YouTube friends with first and then became, like, real-life friends with uh, when I went out there and met them in person. And I got to see so many wonderful things out there and just got to live the lived the dream out in Japan, stuff like that. I mean, I had an amazing apartment that looked over Tokyo Bay, so I got to see the sunrise and set every day that it was uh, not in the way anyway. <laughs> and it was just a wonderful experience, and I'd love to, love to come back as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, so the next part is gonna be, um, if given the opportunity to rejoin the Navy, you know, pending I lose some weight, would I do that? And the answer to that is no. Um, I think that, you know, I've done five years, and I also think that, you know, the Navy long term isn't for everybody, and that's definitely the case for me. Um, joining the Navy initially was definitely the right choice for me because I didn't really have many other options, but having joined the Navy, done my time, and now I'm on the GI Bill, getting my uh, college education, and moving on to the next step in my life, 
I feel that if I were to rejoin the Navy at this stage, I wouldn't really gain too much from it, you know, other than just a steady paycheck and, you know, medical all paid for and dental, stuff like that. It really wouldn't fulfill me as, uh, as a person anymore. I mean, sure, I could probably be stationed somewhere else than I was before and uh, get to visit new ports and stuff like that, and that'd be cool. But as far as the overall job, my what was formerly known as a rate, <laughs> you know, I think I've kind of reached my limit for that. You know, there are some people who are really into what they do in the Navy, and that's why they've stuck with it for as long as they have, and then when they get out, they become contractors or whatever. You know, but for me, I didn't really have that that deep burning passion for sonar like uh, my contemporaries from my other commands did. So it was just difficult for me to, you know, say, yeah, I'll re-up and, you know, become Sonar Soup and LPO and all this other stuff. You know, I just, I didn't see myself career-wise in that position. So, you know, if, even if it wasn't for the whole weight thing cropping up, I still would, wouldn't have re-enlisted and would have just processed out at my EAOS. So it's just kind of is what it is, really. But as far as initially joining the Navy, I don't regret that at all. I had a great time, but, you know, for me it would be like revisiting high school. You know, like, I mean, say what you will about high school, maybe you had a shit time or whatever. But as far as high school goes, you know, I had a great time with my friends. You know, high school itself kind of sucked, but, you know, I had great friends along the way and was able to get through it. But, you know, the basic concept of, of it is this, is that I think my time in the Navy should just kind of, you know, just be what it was. And I shouldn't, you know, really try to relive it. You know, maybe, you know, maybe if I get like a ship tour or something like that, that's fine. But as far as like, you know, going all in and like rejoining again feel like it's kind of a case of been there done that so that's uh all i gotta say about that so with that said this is the andy son sign up for now thinking you guys poop for tuning into this episode of life after navy and for watching my other stuff and if you are also a uh, a veteran not necessarily a navy vet but if you're a, a military veteran and you would like to list your experiences uh, be sure to say a little something, something in the comments below, down in the boopy boop, and uh, just answer the question, would you join the military again? You know, whether that's if you would rejoin it now, or if you knew what you know now back then, would you have joined in the first place? So, let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll continue the conversation there. And I also gotta thank you guys for liking the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party, and hey, as always... We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.